Recording in progress. So now we will study about human cells. So human cell are not only human cell. Every animal cell has the same structure. I am discussing about the structure of the cell. So functions I will talk about later. So what is the cell structure? So nucleus. Within the nucleus there is a material called condensed material. So this is called cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is just like a gel like gel like liquid. So within this, li this liquid we call as a cytoplasm. So here it comes like a mitochondria. So mitochondria. Mitochondria itself has DNA. So how many mitochondria are present in each cell means there might be number of mitochondria. There is no fixed limitation. So mitochondria. So next, this is the nucleus membrane. So together we call it as nucleus and the nucleus is surrounded by a nucleus membrane. This nucleus membrane kept this inside that there is a DNA material. So DNA material. So you should understand when the DNA material is a long strand without fragmentation. So DNA is a long strand coiled densely that we call as a DNA. When this long strand coiled densely material broke into smaller smaller pieces that we call as a chromosomes. So chromosomes are nothing but a fragmentations of DNA. So DNA are chromosomes. So along with there is a some RNA material also present. So DNA plus RNA present inside a nucleus. Understand? So what are all present inside the nucleus means it's not only DNA. So we have RNAs also part of. So RNAs also part of nu uh, nucleus. Okay. So next ribosomes are there. Small, small arrangements are there. So ribosomes are there. So these are all the ribosomes. Uh, ribosomes, whatever we call it. Ribosomes. And this much is enough for our anthropons. Okay. So Golgoi operators. There are so many organelles. We don't require to study each organelle, Golgoi operator functions and everything. For our anthropology, this much is enough. So this mitochondria. What is mitochondria? Means mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. So powerhouse of the cell. Understand? So which break down chemicals. To produce the energy. So what kind of chemicals are there? So we take the food. That we call as a. The, uh, it enter into the digestive system. In digestive system. So the complex. The complex. Carbohydrates. Proteins. Fats. They broke into simple carbohydrates. Or simple sugars. Simple proteins. Simple fats. So these things are digestive system, uh, circulatory system. So that means the intestine after breaking down of this complex sugars, proteins and fats, they dip inside a intestine. The blood which is circulated in the intestine, it absorbs this simpler sugars or simpler proteins and they transport to the each and every cell. So each cell receives this is simpler sugar because these are all transported by blood. So this is entered inside the cell. So once these simple sugars are entered inside the cell, so these mitochondria, they start breaking down. So if you take the simple sugar, that is C6H12O6. So what is this name? So simple sugar. Okay. So the simple sugar plus water, simple sugar plus oxygen. Combinedly, they form into CO2, H2O, 
plus ATP. So this is the chemical reaction generally occurred inside a mitochondria. Understand? So oxygen comes through inhalation and which is uh, the blood is oxygenated and that oxygen is supplied to the every cell through blood. Understand? So this is comes from digestive system. The intestine absorbed that uh, simple sugars are transported by the blood to each and every cell. So once the chemical reaction is occurred, so C plus O2, they form to CO2, H and O, they form into hydrogen. So these are waste eliminated in the form of urine. So these are eliminated in the form of exhale. And this ATP is the only usable energy inside a cell. So this ATP is nothing but a usable inside a energy. So that means powerhouse means what kind of power it is produces ATP by performing the various chemical reactions that is so breaking down of the complex uh, molecules into simple molecules. So through which car. Uh, so these are all the waste products ATP only used by this cell. So this energy is required to sustain the entire cell. The cell is survived because of it is continuously receiving the energy. This is we call as a metabolism. So metabolism means fast metabolism means what? Fast metabolism and slow metabolism. Fast metabolism means whatever the food we take, it very quickly convert into ATP. Slow metabolism means so very less, you no, know, uh, these sugars are turned into ATP. The remaining sugars are stored inside your body. Then the body growth increases, body size increases. So some people eat more food, still they looks like a lean and thin. The reason is like their metabolism power is very high. So nothing is stored inside the body because the uh, mitochondria, they burn every sugars, every fats. Some people, mitochondria perform slow metabolism. That means excessive food are stored inside the body. They look like a obese persons. Understand? So then this energy used by the DNA. Okay, so this DNA uses this energy derived by the mitochondria and they create some instructions. That instructions we call as a RNA. So it is like a mission. That mission to be continuously operated from the fuel derived by a mitochondria. The mission codes various, uh, no, uh, it, it codes, that code is nothing but a RNA. If it is a computer, computer uh, programmed every time it will generate very every, every number of sequences coding sequences that sequences we call as a rna so this is like a motherboard here all the dna which perform you know it produces the rnas but rnas are produced by a dna understand that means they are reside inside the nucleus envelope understand mm -hmm. nucleus envelope contain this rna and this nucleus envelope is permeable so permeable only for rna what does it mean that means this envelope yellows rna outside or take rna into inside but cytoplasm never allowed into the nucleus or mitochondria never allowed or any material which present which was prevented by the nucleus envelope it only permeable for RNA. So that RNA are the codes, instructions given by the DNA, which comes out of the nucleus envelope and these were decoded by the ribosomes. Okay. So for suppose the RNA is a messenger which comes to the ribosomes and the ribosomes start to produce amino acids. So amino acids are again two types essential non essentials whatever the amino acid rna given instruction for the ribosomes it created amino acids this we called as non essential why because the body creates this amino acids some non amino acids are not created by the body we have to take it from the food so that means they are not produced inside the body they have to get it from externally by using the food so these amino acids essential and non essential amino acids together formed into a chains that we call as a 
proteins so what is the final product of a cell has given means that is the production of proteins so protein that means the final so the function of this is the structure okay structure means what are all the elements present inside a cell that we call as a uh, you know structure what these elements finally do that we call as a functional the function of the function of every cell the final function of the final function of every cell is to produce the proteins For this proteins, the cells has been inputs, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, and minor minerals. So these are all the inputs inside a cell through which it, so ATP energy generates. This energy used by the nuclear DNA. So this DNA gives the RNA that is code. This code is decoded by the ribosomes and what this code comes into what kind of amino acids that DNA asking that amino acids are created by these ribosomes by decoding the RNA. So these non-essential amino acids plus whatever the amino acids we, are, we have been taking through the food that is uh, no, essential amino acids they formed into chains chemical chains that we call as a proteins that we call as a protein this is the final functional output of every cell in the body then what are all the proteins what are all the proteins proteins are in the form of hormones enzymes okay so proteins are, are, are in the form of uh, hormones and enzymes. So they are, some are rigid, some are liquid in nature. Some are liquid in nature. So these act as a communicating units between the systems. So respiratory system, circulatory system. So this kind of reproductive system. These are all various systems. One system, if re reproductive system, hypothalamus is there. Hypothalamus, which is present in brain. Which is present in brain. Okay, if somebody has sexual urge, the sexual urge not produced inside a reproductive organs. It is produced in a brain, hypothalamus. This message has to be communicated to the reproductive organs through by using the hormones and enzymes. That means they are coordinating between the nervous system and the reproductive system in the form of hormones and enzymes. They are interconnecting between the systems. Understand? That means they are providing life. All the systems are understanding each other work. They are independently functioning, understanding the other system requirement and they are coordinatingly functioning each other. That is the life we called. So life means functioning of all the systems. It requires communication between these systems. These communications are maintained by the proteins produced by the cells. Understand? So this we call as a life. When any cells, they stop producing the proteins. The proteins, that, that means hormones and enzymes stopping. The communication never passed to the another, another systems. Because failure of one system, that led to the failure of other system because it didn't know what to be do. So that then other systems also fail, failed. Then that we call as a death. Understand? So this is the general life means. So all the life activities are rooted inside a cell. All the li uh, life activities are rooted inside a cell. So together cells made. So see, pancreas, it is a gland. So pancreas has many cells. Each cell produce so this insulin. If all the cells together, we can count like an ounce of the insulin hormone. So each cell produce only minute, but because the cells are organized into organs, the quantity output is more. So these things are circulated between the 
no between uh, various systems and each system understand what is expected by the other system they coordinate each other then the organism survives that we call as a life so this is in nutshell so cell is a simple structure and basic building block as well as so the basic functional unit inside your body if all the cells properly functioning all the systems properly function then organism survives if any organs cells failed to function the remaining systems could not able to understand what expected by the other systems they stopped performing then we call that situation as a death understand so this is in uh, nutshell what is the structure and functions understand so from this discussion you come to know that dna is very crucial because it give the instructions for ribosomes in the form of rna to produce proteins understand these proteins are acting as a interconnection between the various system function so next mitochondria so mitochondria is a power house for every cell so it which, which gives the atp to dna to continuously perform just like to continuously function a laptop or system we need electricity similarly dna to be continuously work it requires a energy called atp and so we are nothing but a machines every cell is a machine understand that machine has to be work it requires energy that is called atp for that purpose only we are eating understand so every animal has the same cell every animal cell requires production of protein to survive that means every animal has the hunger understand every animal has the hunger understand in that hunger what they can eat so why every animal as taking the food means because every animal cell is same every animal cell requires atp atp requires some kind of digestion of the food that food they have to take it from externally understand so that is the reason why tiger is killing deer because tiger cells require energy okay for that it, it is using the deer so why can't see every you know every organism chemically i am talking every organism chemically talking what are all there carbons hydrogen nitrogen nitrogens are nothing but proteins carbons hydrogen nitrogens so these are all the chemicals understand so every organism made with these chemicals complex chemicals there might be some minor chemicals in the form of ferrous iron is there zinc might be present some kind of other minor minor minerals are there but a vast body of every organism made with these three things so most of the water content nitrogen content in the form of protein carbons so these are all the major minerals in our body these are all the minor minerals okay so if tiger requires atp if tiger requires atp okay or deer requires atp deer requires atp energy for every cell to sustain if every cell sustain then every system survive sustain if every system survive then deer survive okay so here what food has taken by the deer that is the grass again this grass cells are similar to animal cells except small small differences so these each cell has carbon hydrogen proteins okay everything is present so that means why we should eat only plants and animals plants and animals not like sand why can't we eat the sand only plants and animals a animal might eat another animal or plant but not the sand why so we require carbohydrates proteins fats to generate atp they are concentrated in the form of another life not in the physical atoms physical atoms never have carbon hydrogen okay or this kind of nitrogen elements together in the same understand so these things are present in all in the another life form not in the physical material so that's why we always consume the the products come from the plants the products come from the animals 
they can be usable for the atp generation so we cannot eat the dust sand or any kind of mud to satisfy our hunger because they won't give any atp atp requires carbohydrates fats proteins they are present in another life in the form of plant or another animal so this is how metabolism so hunger so atp the prominence of dna and everything understand so now we will see in our body how, what how many types of cells are present how much time it is so are you getting or not what i am uh, discussing so are you getting it or not so these are all the basics okay so next classes you would easily understand if you come to know these basics so you don't need to i don't need to dictate everything just you can put in your brain or else you can study from the website so nobody will ask you this in exam okay next how many types of cells are there so types of cells in human being so uh, forget about other species so that now we come to the so humans only anthropology means study about humans human biology human physical features so types of cells in humans so we have somato cells are there and germinal cells are there so somato cells are germinal cells so this also called as a sex cells all gametes so somato cells are organized uh, these are all examples many okay neurons or nervous cells nervous system has the cell that we call as a neurons okay heart to cells kidney cells heart to kidney liver even bones itself bones also a cells bones bones is nothing but a hard tissue hard tissue should be made with a cells understand so tissues comes from always cells uh, the tissues may be soft tissue or hard tissue that means hard cells also present in our body that is bone cells understand so if you go this one entire our body made with different different cells but their structures are same nucleus mitochondria dna okay so ribosomes everything structurally same but shape might be some are elongated some are round shape might be varied but internal structure is always remain same in this somato cells okay so these examples are gender specific in in humans in humans female gender produces ova so this cell is called sex cell or gamete or germinal cell so male gender produces sperm so that means these are all present in the male and female male and female they have same somato cells okay but here these cells if one cell is present in one gender so these cell is absent in the another gender they have different cells understand so we had 46 chromosomes so chromosomes means what it is a tightly coiled condensed material we call as a dna when dna broke into smaller small fragments okay smaller smaller fragments that we call as a chromosomes how many total chromosomes are there 46 in human beings so 46 in human beings so 22 chromosomes are somato cells are somato uh, chromosomes okay autosomes we call as a autosomes and last one pair we call as a sex chromosomes sex chromosomes so that means this might be a xx for female and a xy for male okay this is the one pair the remaining 22 pairs are first pair second pair third pair so fourth pair this is how 22nd pair so if i show you any one of the chromosome here if I ask you like, is it chromosome is male or female? What would be your answer? So these one, two, 
first chromosome pair to 22 chromosomes in every gender they are meant for somato body somato body means hmm? so somato body means except reproductive organs except reproductive organs that is these uh, cells producing glands that is testes and ovaries so ovaries produce ova testes produce sperms except these glands the entire bodily mass of our body we call as a somato body so we have two bodies are there okay so every human has two bodies somato body reproductive body reproductive body means reproductive system somato means except reproductive system all other systems so nervous system circulatory system excretory system so uh, digestive system or uh, respiratory system these are all same for male and female so that's why structures are similar but reproductive systems only varied between the genders so this reproductive system organs are controlled by the 23rd pair understand so 23rd pair we can distinguish as a xx or xy but 1 to 22 pairs so they are same in male and same in female understand so female kidney shape and size male kidney shape and size both are same by showing a kidney, if you ask somebody whether it is a male or female, nobody tell it. By showing the sexual organs, if we ask that somebody male or female, we can tell it. Understand? So that means somato bodily, that means the ribs, thorax, heart, kidney, liver, brain, everything is same in male and female except reproductive organs. So why they are same means out of these 46 chromosomes, so total 46 chromosomes are there entire dna material so first pair second pair third pair fourth fifth sixth and this is the 22nd pair and finally 23rd pair so 23rd pair might be xx xy if xx female xy male understand so now this is the only variation in the body the remaining things are same in male and female so by showing this chromosome, whether it is male or female, nobody can tell it. By showing this Y, they can tell a male or female. By showing this uh, double X, they can tell it is male or female. But this is called somato body. So somato body and the cells made this somato body we call as a somato cells. Okay. So the last pair which resulted into the reproductive cells so reproductive cells so if somebody asks you like if if in your diagram they will give like one first pair second pair third pair fourth pair and 20 second pair and the last 20 third pair they never given it and they ask you what is the gender of this person? So what would be the gender of this person? Hmm? If in a diagram, without giving the 23rd pair, okay, without giving the 23rd pair, they given first to 22nd pairs. That means 44 chromosomes only they had given. Pair means two. 22 pairs means 44. So by giving this 44 chromosomes, somebody asks you like, identify the gender of this person is it possible to identify it is possible to identify what is the gender so not possible why because these are all same in male and female when chromosomes are same structures functions both are same in male and female the heart structure heart function kidney structure kidney function everything is same but here they result into separate organs when separate organs separate functions are there Separate functions means separate ova, separate sperm production in the different genders. Understand? So this is how our body has made with somato cells as well as the germinal cells. Understand? So the entire DNA, this entire DNA, which is broke down into parts.
so you are not audible So now is it audible or not? Hmm? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. So now my question is, so every life is see we are the earliest in nature, very 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 recent humans are very recent in origin. That means all other animals are our ancestors only. Okay. So there might be a closest ancestor, a remote ancestor, so some medium remote ancestor. All other animal lives are connected to humans as a ancestor. Why? Because we are very recent. Understand? So that is the reason. Can we eat the cattle and the goat? Because they evolved prior to us. Cattle, goats, chickens. So they are all prior to human evolution. They came on the earth. Can we eat it? Because they are our ancestors. Hmm? Can we eat it or not? Do you support vegetarianism, non-vegetarianism? Which, which idea you will take? This is the applications. So by going the logic of nobody should eat their ancestors, right? So why should we consider only humans as our ancestors? All other life forms also our ancestor. Hmm? So if you apply belief system, no, our ancestors should be respected, venerated, worshipped. So these are all the animals. They are evolved prior to us. We had connected. How do we establish our connection towards the other animal? We have the heart, they have heart, we have two eyes, they have two eyes. Understand? They have lungs, we have lungs. Why? Because all these bodily organs are same DNA material. Every life on the earth has the same DNA material. But why they are different means number of chromosomes. So number of chromosomes. So we have two eyes. The goat has the two eyes. The chicken has the two eyes. They have only one heart. We have only one heart. All these things are controlled by the DNA. Can we say that the life has the same DNA for all the species? Yes. But we have two legs or four limbs are there. But chick chickens has only two legs. Means why if DNA is the same, why they have two? Why we have four? The cattle has four. Kangaroos has different shape. Okay, the reptiles has different shape. Reptiles too has two eyes, one heart. Okay, then why means there is the number of chromosomes. Okay, humans has 44 chromosomes. Other have 48. If you take dog like 90 plus chromosomal pairs are there. The entire DNA, how many pieces it broke down, it decides the same, uh, it, it decides the shape. But structures are same. Why? Because the same DNA material is dividing. That is the reason structures are same, but the differences are caused by how many times it broke as a chromosomes. So humans and dogs can be separated, not on the basis of DNA, but on the basis of number of chromosomes. The same DNA present both dogs and humans, but how many fragments that a single DNA divides? It is 44 in humans and somewhere uh, like 60 or 70 plus in dogs. DNA wise same. That is the reason same structures are present. But the shapes and some other variations are caused by number of variations in the total number of chromosomes in each space. Okay. Obviously they are our ancestor. Reason is same DNA we shared. That is the evidence of two eyes. Okay. One nose, one tongue. Okay. One heart, one kidney, one lung. How many we have? They too have the same. That is the evidence we are connected to each other. But they have tail. We don't have tail. The difference is caused by our DNA is broken to 44 times. This DNA is broken to 60 times. 
when number of times broke it some variations are uh, number varies in the broking then some differences also present in the structures some extra organs might be present some organs might be disappear based on the number of times the dna broke otherwise dna wise every species on the earth is same even eukaryotes uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes same dna is present so same dna since beginning on the earth has been replicating understand but this diversity of species we are observing that is the dna how many times it broke that decides differentiate between the species so the dna is same but the differences between the cattle and the human could be distinguished on the basis of the same dna even though they possess the number of times it is broke into chromosomes that is the reason the cat, the cats have the tails human has no tail cattle has the tail human has no tail understand this is the dna is same but the chromosomal variation that means breaking number of time breaking that entire dna we call as a chromosomes that variation brings the species differentiation but structurally remained same because we possess the same dna understand so this you should remember so now you should have tell this kind of answer <laughs> so by going this logic every the, the our hindu belief also our hindu belief also every species on the earth are part of you know same uh, life same soul that is brahma soul okay brahma created all the life form on the earth understand so we should respect every form of the life whether plant or animal so this is our belief system by going this logic can we eat the another animal hmm? humans could eat the another animal practicing non vegetarianism so why hmm? if we eat non veg if we don't eat non veg what would happen so our see our body has many systems nervous system circulatory system you no know, respiratory system and if you go to the uh, excretory system reproductive system so there are many systems are there in our body so digestive system also somewhere else it comes as a digestive system digestive system so many systems are there till now we identified this there might be many number of other systems also so these systems are interacting with each other by production of the cells through proteins so proteins are essential non essential okay non essential things are produced by our cells essential things are we have to get it from outside some essential elements could be derived from the plants okay some non essential elements are uh, amino acids some non essential amino acids only present in animals so if we have all this essential amino acids then the system's functioning is very perfect understand why should we support non vegetarian means some of the essential amino acids only found in the animals by eating that one every organ or every system in our body functions perfectly okay some amino acids essential amino acids we derive from the plants so that vegetarian people also some functioning but uh, when compared to those people eat both uh, you know plants and animal their bodily systems functioning is well balanced highly healthy people so this is the not religious basis it is the biological basis we should apply our anthropological knowledge so to identify the practical problems everyday problems also that we call as a applied anthropology so after studying this branch somebody asked you like hindu religion never allowed to permit uh, eating of the non vegetarianism so as a anthropologist what is your opinion belief systems are differ health is differ health requires all amino essential amino acids so some of the essential amino acids only found in the fish and animal we should consume it irrespective of our religious belief as a organism we should consume it as a biological organism understand otherwise we have to get it as a supplementary by medicines and everything 
that essential amino acids only found in the animals so this is so cultural beliefs as well as biological demands both are so might be same or might be different you have to use this knowledge to apply <laughs> so now so you know in our body somato cells are there germinal cells are there so somato cells somato cells and germinal cells so in somato cells here the dna has 44 chromosomes 44 chromosomes in germinal cells such as so such as sperm it has the dna material but it has 23 chromosomes not 44 pairs means 43 pairs right 22 plus 23 46 46 chromosomes are 23 pairs okay so another one is ova ova has nucleus it has the 23 chromosomes 23 chromosomes not pairs okay here 46 chromosomes are organized into 23 pairs so here 23 in number here 23 in number so when they got fertilized it gives rise to 46 it gives rise to 46 chromosomes or 23 that means an individual when it comes to germinal cell he may produce only ova which has 23 chromosomes okay male produce uh, somatos or uh, germinal cells that is sperm which has 23 chromosomes so how could we differentiate somato cells from germinal cells germinal cells have 46 chromosomes Okay, so German, uh, somato cells have 46 chromosomes, germinal cells have only 23 chromosomes. So half of the somato cells. Okay, so when do they produce? The question is like, when do they produce? So somato cells are since birth to death. So birth to death, they are present. So somato cells means heart, liver, kidney, eyes, nose, everything is somato. That since the birth we have all these organs. Understand? So these sperms and ova, they are present only particular point of an individual. So after attaining the adolescent age, adolescent age, these cells start to produce by the body. Understand? So once that reproductive age got over, then these cells are not produced by the body. Understand? So that means they are structurally, functionally important. So human life started as a single cell. So these single cell multiply, uh, multiply into, and again multiply, and again multiply. So each one again, again multiply. This is we call as a mitosis cell division. So this is how single cell after undergoing the mitosis cell division, trillions of cells come into being. So these trillions of cells are organized into organs. Once these organs are formed till death, they are permanent. Till death, they are present. Understand? So that means through the cell division only, an invisible single cell acquire the mass, acquire the shape and everything. So the fertilized egg is invisible to our naked eye might be we can see under, under the microscope but uh, these after sufficient number of cell division it acquire a mass of a ball and this mass of a ball acquire as a baby after some time and this baby acquired as a 2 kgs 5 kgs and adolescent time 40 kgs and 20 30 60 to 80 kgs so how this weight coming to a invisible cell because of cell division understand so that means mitosis is a cell division so which starts from the beginning of life that is fertilization and which has been continued till, till the death so the primary 
significance of mitosis cell division so mitosis cell division the primary significance is nothing but it increase the mass size shape by producing the daughter cells and not only that whenever we got wounds or cuts on the body the cuts are disappeared by producing the new cells of surrounding cells that is also we call as a mitosis cell division understand so once we come to know that two types of cells cells are there so this is somato cells were result of mitosis cell division all the somato cells all the somato cells result of mitosis cell division so mitosis cell division so initially human being started as a single invisible cell through mitosis cell division the uh, mass weight shape so that we call as a growth so the individual grown into being because of mitosis cell division if an individual body undergoes any kind of injury injury or cuts on the body that is healed by mitosis cell division and any kind of repairs inside the body repairs inside the body for suppose there is a loss of small portion in the liver the liver regenerate again this portion that is called repairing of the liver that is called repairing functions so repairing functions everything is performed by in our body through mitosis cell division understand so meiosis cell division in our body so mitosis cell division is common in every organ in our body but meiosis cell division which is starts in our body during the adolescence till entire reproductive years once that reproductive years gone over our body never perform any meiosis cell division but mitosis cell division is from birth to death meiosis cell division is only one duration one particular period of duration that is adolescence to reproductive age once the male stopped the producing sperms female stopped the producing ova that we called meiosis cell division over in our body but we cannot say mitosis cell division stopped in our body till our death it has been continued from fertilization of egg to you know last breath and decomposition of the body so it presents uh, mitosis cell division so this is how so this meiosis cell division is only for reproduce the offsprings so reproduce the offsprings so it has no connection with the bodily growth shape or structures it is only passing of genetic material of an individual to the next generation this meiosis cell division is important understand so mitosis cell division mitosis and meiosis so mitosis cell division occurs in fertilized egg second one so uh, meios uh, mitosis uh, fertilized egg second one so for growth may, uh, may repair and maintenance of body so maintenance of body and it performed on all somato cells all the somato cells of an individual undergoes mitosis only okay so the number of daughter cells produced by a a cell which is a cell which undergone mitosis cell division it produces only two daughter cells two daughter cells and each daughter cell is identical so identical daughter cells and sixth one is daughter cells are identical with parent cell daughter and parent cell identical so this is the parent cell this is the daughter cell daughter cell 1 daughter cell 2 so daughter cell 1 daughter cell 2 both are identical to each other and these two together identical to each other with the parent cell 
That means the parent cells disappear by giving the two daughter cells. Okay. So the number of chromosomes, the number of chromosomes are 46 in parents, 46 in each daughter. Understand? So this is the mitosis. Understand? Meiosis. So tomorrow I will show the complete cell division. Okay. Basics it will take. Uh, I am assuming like two classes. It might be take three classes also. Once you build all these basics, then you come to that. That is very uh, cakewalk for the rest of the chapters. Okay. So meiosis. So which is only ferroform. Here all the somato cells. Okay. Somato cells. Here reproductive cells. So reproductive cells, which are present in ovaries of the female and testes of the male. So these two organs, they produce the cells called ova and sperms. Ova and sperm. So if somebody asks like, where does meiosis takes place in our body? It is not present in kidney, liver, heart, brain or anywhere else. It is present only in, if it is a female in ovaries, it is the male in testes. So meiosis cell division occurs only in these organs, not in any other organs. In the other organs, the cell division we call as a mitosis cell division. The second one is, so how many, if a single cell undergoes meiosis, it produces four daughter cells. So that means here, four daughter cells are present. Four daughter cells are present. So here, daughter cells are 50% identical. So 50% identical. So what do you mean by 50% identical? For suppose if a person in a single instance, he produces like 100 billion sperms. So 50 billion sperms contain X. 50 billion sperms contain Y. That means here, this is the 50-50 ratio. So in mitosis, both cells have 100% similarity. But here, chromosomal variation is there. So in daughter cells, the meiosis produce here. Meiosis produce here. Four daughter cells. Two daughter cells only identical to each other. That is one is to one ratio. They are identical. Not all the daughter cells are identical. So if it is XY, that means one is X. Another one is Y, another one is X, another one is Y. That means two daughter cells are Y, two daughter cells are X. That's why 50-50% daughter cells are equal. Remaining 50% of daughter cells are opposite or non-equal. But now you can see here it is the XY. Here only one chromosome is present every time. That means they are non-identical with the parent cell also. Non-identical with the parent cell. So among the daughter cells, 50% only equal. So when compared to daughter cells with parent cell, the parent and daughter cells are non-identical because parent cell has 46 chromosomes. Dot, each daughter cell has only 23 chromosomes. Because total number of chromosomes are 46 in parent cell. In each daughter cell, each chromosome uh, uh, contains only 23 in number. But here, the parent cell has 46. Daughter cell, each one has 46. Understand? So that's why they are similar. Daughter cells and parent cell is different, similar. Here, daughter cell and parent cells are you know, non-identical because number of chromosomes are varying. Understand? So this is, starts with adolescent, end with the reproductive period. So end with the reproductive period. Understand? So this is the basic information about the mitosis and meiosis. So what are the cell division stages in meiosis? How it is performed in our body? So mitosis and meiosis. So mitosis has the cell. First we should identify cell cycle. Cell cycle. So cell cycle has various stages. First one is G1 stage, S2 stage, S stage, G2 stage, and M stage. So this is each cell, somato cell I am talking about. 
so somato cells undergo mitosis so that means if you take the pancreas pancreas is a somato cells based organ so pancreas is a organ all the cells are somato cells in this organ that means each cell in the pancreas has to be produce insulin so it has the function of producing protein insulin is a, insulin is a hormone proteins are nothing but hormones enzymes all are these things are nothing but a proteins so proteins are present in our body in the form of tissues hormones enzymes so enzymes hormone tissues collectively we call as a protein enzyme is a protein hormone is a protein tissue is a protein understand so that means insulin is a hormone that means basically protein it is the function of the cell of pancreas if somebody asks like how proteins are present in our body all these things you have to tell tissues hormones enzymes they are all proteins but uh, the number of amino acids present in that it give the <clears throat> so gel kind of liquid or rigid structures for that so that amino acid synthesization and protein synthesization that i will tell you in next class okay so now you can see insulin that means cell has to constant in state to produce the insulin so for suppose this is the pancreas here for suppose 1 billion cells are there all the cells some of the cells they produce insulin during this time remaining cells are in cell division once they got stabilized these enter into the cell division and they produce the insulin so this is how in every organ some cells are under in the stage of division some are under in the stage of production of the proteins this is how no organ failed to produce the products if all the cells in the organ if they underwent in the underwent to the mitosis cell division so if 1 billion cells are present in pancreas if all 1 billion cells at a time underwent into the cell division it stopped production of the insulin in that case organs might collapse for that reason so it is a continuous process in every organ some cells are dividing some cells are producing the products in the form of proteins once these dividing cells are stabilized undivided cells undergoing the division so this is how every organ continuously secrete the hormones enzymes and everything understand that means it is a continuous process cell has to be divided and it acquired to some kind of uh, working stage and again it undergoing to the uh, division and again working stage division working stage that we call as a cell cycle understand cell cycle means it has to function sometime and it undergo division and again function undergo division that we call as a cycle so this g1 g2s this three phase phases we call as a interphase so in the interphase cell produce the proteins if somebody asks like how many stages are present in interphase g1 s phase g2 phase and you don't get confusion like what are all g1 s everything i will discuss okay even small point also i will discuss and this m phase is nothing but a mitosis phase except this phase remaining three phases it produce the proteins in this phase only it won't produce any proteins but the remaining cells which are all in the interface they produce in the same organ so 50 percent of cells at our interface 50 cell percent of cells are the metaphase in the pancreas that means interface cells are producing insulin metaphase cells in the pancreas are not able to produce once this metaphase cells are coming into interface interface cells are going into metaphase so this is how continuity present in the secretion of the insulin hormone understand so what do you mean by g1 phase okay it's almost 97 right so cell cycle mitosis meiosis so this i will discuss tomorrow based on the cell division 
we have one special chapter chromosomal aberration it is purely on the base of cell division topic so cell division is only a basic knowledge from which we have 9.4 chapter chromosomal aberrations so 9.4 chromosomal aberration so chromosomal aberration is a chapter which is based on the cell division only so tomorrow we will see what is mitosis meiosis how these two cell divisions are different each other so how they contribute for the aberrations means disorders chromosomal disorders if chromosomal disorders are happen what kind of phenotypic okay product failure occurs in our body product failures phenotypic means so shape and size so product means protein synthesis protein synthesis that we will discuss tomorrow so till now if you have any doubts you can express so you don't get panic first of all so rome never built in a single day so you will get master level of knowledge so gradual so till that time if you have any doubts you can openly express and you get re you get resolved okay so i am i am completely accountable of your anthropology so within 100 days you can beat any faculty any student even you can challenge the upsc also frame a better paper it is a very medium paper last year paper also medium but other people felt it is like a complex very difficult paper okay so if you have any doubts you can raise it i will resolve or else tomorrow we will meet so anybody sir, has sir, any sir, doubt sir. yes sir in mitosis was for the last point which you had written in differentiation so uh, now you can ask me mitosis sir, uh, yeah you were differentiating between mitosis and meiosis so there was this last point which you had written after daughters equal to parents uh, parents identical can you tell me the last point please so identicality right you are asking about identicality between the daughters between the parent and daughters this point right yes so this sir. is parent in mitosis divided into two daughter cells mitosis result into parent cell divided into two daughter cells so meiosis first they divided into two daughter cells and each daughter cell will undergo further division then overall four cells come into being at the end of meiosis so this portion we call as a meiosis 1 this portion we call as a meiosis 2 meiosis means it is the two stages meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 understand so here 46 chromosomes are there each one receives 46 understand so now if it is xx this is also xx if it is xy this is also xy so if it is xx combination 1 if it is xy combination 2 if parent cell is a 46 in number and it is xx like it is female somato cell okay female heart cell female liver cell female kidney anything so that means the daughter cell also having 46 xx 46 xx now you can see it is identical to another daughter and both daughters are identical to parent yes sir okay so now you can see here it is a male xy so is gametes are undergo uh, is uh, no testes produces the sperms so sperms we have xy 46 xy it is the first one so here 23 one x okay 23 one y at the end of meiosis one it divided into 23 chromosomes and one x within the 23 one is x another one is 23 chromosomes one is y okay so this is further broke into 23 with one x 23 one x this is 23 y 23 y so now you can see here these two are identical but these two are not identical with respect to this one understand so now here 46 chromosomes are there and what is the combination x y here everyone is 23 and nobody has two pairs of sex chromosome that means they are not identical with the parent and all the daughter cells are not identical to each other 50 percent of daughter cells only identical so these two are identical these two are identical so, so this so female, 
Yes. So females will not undergo meiosis because they have XX. Female will also undergo. Meiosis is present in both ovaries and testes. Female, see generally what happened, you know, this is the female XX. So female produces two cells. Okay, one is 23X. Another one is 23X. So in this case, it should be 23X, 23X, 23X. Yes, right? sir. So here, parent and daughter cells are equal to each other. Daughter cells are also 100% identical and parent oh. cell is also 100% identical. In female, no female produces four ovas in each cycle. She produces only one ova. Understand? One ova means if these three are not present, this is the only surviving. That means, is it similar to parent? No, sir. So why only one ova means? Here, so that is where it's not the biggest complex. Very simple, I will tell. So female ova has the nucleus DNA, it is which is 23 chromosomes. So surrounded by cytoplasm is there, right? Understand? So male sperm, male sperm only has DNA, there is no cytoplasm. So here nucleus is present. Here, no nucleus is present, only DNA present, no cytoplasm. So that means here the egg has the mitochondria, the egg has the ribosomes, the egg has the other organelles, but here it only carry gen DNA. So no mitochondria, no organelles, no cytoplasm. So this is fused with this DNA and cytoplasm of mother is this female used, mitochondria of female used, uh, you know, organelles of female used. So the male is never contribute anything in the cell except DNA. Understand? Okay, now, when it is doing the cell division, this is the female one, 23, uh, 46 chromosomes with double X. So here, one cell which take away all the cytoplasm. Understand? Another cell, so though technically it produced lack of cytoplasm, so cytoplasm only mitochondria present. Mitochondria only generate ATP energy. If there is no cytoplasm, no ATP energy, no surviving of this cell. That means one only survives. Understand? This we call as a polar body. And again it undergoes the cell division. One is taking over all the cytoplasm and mitochondria. Another one lack of cytoplasm and mitochondria. It, it dies out. This is the another polar body. So finally how many survived in the female? And only one, but male, so it has no requirement of, so it won't hardly survive like 20, 72 hours. Once they're born, they survive like 72 hours, but it survive like, like 14 days in a monthly cycle. Why? Because it has more nourishment in the form of cytoplasm. But here lack of nourishment, hardly the sperm survives 72 hours. In this case, in 72 hours, it is fertilized, then individual develops. Otherwise, the sperms die out in the female itself. They don't uh, useful for the fertilization. So this I will deal in the reproductive anthropology. Or else tomorrow itself I will deal. Okay, sir. Thank you. If you have any other doubts, you can let me know. I will tell. So any other persons? If any other persons have doubts, we will proceed otherwise okay tomorrow we will meet so first two three classes i will dedicate for the basics then we will go for the in-depth conceptual discussion